Yo, 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 what is good with you, BQ, here with the Impact Lounge. Most likely, all of you hardcore fans have seen this photo by now of Matt Hardy and Ed Norholm apparently squashing the beef, bearing the hatchet, if you will. Um, I was happy to see this. I, I was definitely on the Impact Wrestling side of things, um, as I'm going to be just about every time, most likely. Unless it's something completely asinine. But I was on the impact side of this. However, with all that being said, the PR that happened with this um, was so negative and so hurtful. And um, I don't think anybody can can doubt that, can deny that. So Impact Wrestling made a move to allow wrestlers to, to keep their characters, their IP. And they could essentially take it with them to another company. Many people did not like this. Um, if 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 you didn't like it, um, and you think that Ed Nordholm, you know, folded, uh, gave in, I w I would argue, I'd counter argue that you most likely don't know a lot about business, and I don't mean that as a as a um, a shot to the gut or anything like that to anybody. It's I know that sounds negative. It's not meant as something negative. Um, there are things I don't know about. And there's things that I know about. I do know business. Um, I know marketing, social media marketing. I can talk about the NBA all day. Obviously, I can talk about Impact Wrestling. There's strengths that I have, and there's weaknesses. I'm not a, a uh, hardcore football fan, for instance. I'm a casual fan, so you're going to talk over my head. I don't know shit about the ballet. Um, so you see where I'm going with this. Um, Don Callis, especially... But uh, him and Scott Demore are both successful businessmen outside of wrestling. And I fully trust the decisions they're making. I fully trust that Jeff Jarrett, I guess that was more uh, blind faith than anything. I wanted to trust Jeff Jarrett, and I think he did, did some good things. I think in his short time, he did some bad things too. But this particular group, I feel a lot stronger about. Uh, these two, these two gentlemen, especially on the conference call today, uh, listening to them and everything, I feel really good about these guys. This whole IP thing, um, you, you guys got to give it a shot. You know, obviously there was a lot of meetings that happened backstage, a lot of consulting, and I know sometimes as fans we're just the outside looking in and we're just like, oh, that's dumb. You know, here's the thing: at the end of the day, them holding on to that gimmick was doing nothing positive for Impact Wrestling. Nothing. You know, playing hardball was not benefiting them in any way whatsoever. Um, and you, you know, feel free to counter argue. Um, you know, if you feel that there was benefit to that, I do want to know. You know, I, I don't want to sit here act like the all, you know Almighty, all knowing. But as far as you know, as far as what I think, I think it was a, a sound business move. As far as uh, you know, they got to do something different, and. You know how many? You know how how long have people been saying, "Oh, you know, WWE give Cody Rhodes his name and do this and this." And th there's a lot of people who leave there and can't take their gimmick with them. You know, so why not the smaller company, Impact Wrestling, do a little something different? So, with all this being said, Ed Norholm and Matt Hardy have seemed to bury the hatchet, squash the beef. If they can find forgiveness, because both of them made mistakes. I, yes, I was on the impact side, but both the, both parties made mistakes. Um, if they can find forgiveness, I think we can find forgiveness too. You know, I think Matt did a lot of things. Rebby said a lot of things. And you can still have some hatred towards Rebby because that's that's understandable. But if they can find, find it in their hearts to forgive each other and to squash it, I think as fans, we need to do the same. And uh, I'm prepared to move forward personally as a fan and um yeah do i kind of wish they never got the gimmick i guess i guess the hater in me <laughs> kind of wanted impact to hold on to it but as i've said nothing positive was benefiting the negative pr was uh very hurtful for the company the positive pr was not as helpful but at least it was something positive um i'm excited about era lucha coming out and Rebby is a part of that. She's like the authority figure. 
I think they call her the Ice Queen or something like that. And immediately I was turned off. So if I can find the forgiveness forgiveness in my heart, I think I'll be willing to give Aralucha a chance now. And that's what this is all about. Working together for the sake of pro wrestling, not beefing with each other. That does nothing. You know, hold on to the, holding on to the IP, what that do, please please us fans, you know, the people already currently watching the product. There's such a big picture involved, folks. And I'm I'm even not an expert on this. I understand the business world. I'm no expert. But we got to remember there's a lot of meetings that happen behind the scenes. A lot of good people, smart people um, coming together, talking about the future vision of Impact Wrestling. And, you know, this actually gives them an opportunity to monetize that content now. They can actually put that on DVD and sell it. And they can come to an agreement with the Hardys on this as well. So these guys know more than we do. I'm going to put it like that. So um, that's all I got. I don't have any you know, additional information that you guys don't have regarding them getting along now. But it's a good thing to see. And um, I think we can all learn something from it. So uh, if you're still listening, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll talk to you soon. This is the Impact Lounge.